Hi there guys, welcome back to the shop. I'm Chris Bowden and today we're doing episode 48 on Project Archie. This one is gonna be quick and easy because the last one was a marathon. So this one's gonna be easy. All you're gonna need is your J4 limit switch contact block, which is this L-shaped piece of aluminum with some holes in it, some recesses, nothing to it. You're gonna need three M4 by 10 socket head cap screws. That's it. You'll also need a, uh, a three millimeter driver. So here's how you do. Now I've got this laid on its side on the table because this actually happens on the bottom and there isn't any particularly easy way to photograph that. So we're coming in up and under, but you'll be able to follow along. So hold that on. The, there's a chamfered part that goes down. You'll also see these three holes have recesses milled in, those pockets. So the screw is going to go in like that. You're going to use that hole, this hole, and this hole. So just put it up and under with the pin going down there. Uh-oh, I got a problem. I got a problem. I got too much wrench for this. We're going to have to break out the weirs. Oh yeah, check it out, Weiris. If you wanna buy the absolute best hand tools that money can buy, man, Weiris are hard to beat. I'm a big fan. I got turned on to these by uh, Wintergarten. He uses a Weira ratchet wrench in all his stuff. And I saw that, I was like, that's cool. I still don't own one of those wrenches, but I got me a set of Weira Allen wrenches because those are what I could afford. <laughs> so these have a ball end, you can see there, and that lets you, with a ball end Allen wrench, you can come in from angles. And it makes it a lot easier if you're in tight quarters like I am on this one. Because I can, I can come in all the way off to that angle and still turn it. I don't have to here, I got the room, but. And we get this bottom one in here. Back till it clicks. And then right on in. Now, when you're using an Allen wrench, they've got two different ends for a reason. You can do light torque like this. But when you want to tighten it, or if you have a stubborn one, that's why they have the short end with the longer lever. So with this, you can put that in there and then tighten it right down. So go in finger tight plus maybe a quarter turn. Yeah. You'd be amazed how many things in life really want to be finger tight plus a quarter turn. Like if you don't have a torque wrench, that's, that's a good standard to start with. Finger tight plus a quarter turn. If you have, you know, the delicate womanly fingers that I do. That's it, it's on, it's good. This, the whole purpose of this is when this moves down, that bar comes in contact with the limit switch. See, that's what actuates the limit switch. So that is our J4 limit switch contact block. And now it's installed and now you've accomplished step 48 on building your Anon Robotics AR3, or in my case, Project Archie. It's lovely. You guys have fun. Thanks for hanging out. I'm Chris Bowden, and as always, we'll see you next time.